If you owe me, then pay up. We got jocks with them lasers. Ja'Kyra Barnes uh, died last month in April. She was 17 years old. She was killed in the Woodlawn neighborhood uh, in a shooting, and she was shot multiple times. And so the police thought that uh, she was targeted, that she was assassinated, essentially. Her mom said she was a smart kid. Um, she was kind of shy, even timid, some people said. I talked to people at the school who said it took a while for her to warm up to her classmates and to her teachers, but uh, and she had some initial uh, discipline problems at the beginning and she got suspended. But after that, she was a good student, they said. So she graduated her eighth grade at Perspectives IIT Math and Science Academy. She went back there for her freshman year and things just did not work out. She had a really spotty attendance record. And the next thing you know, according to her mother, uh, she was arrested for shooting a gun and wound up going into the juvenile justice system and she essentially never really was a full-time student again. Compare that reputation as a shy, timid girl with um, the, her reputation on the street, which was a shooter or a hitter or a assassin. She was known to her rivals as somebody who was willing to, to shoot first, to ask questions later. It's all over the internet, in fact. On her own Twitter site, she uh, called herself Taekwon Assassin. Taekwon was a friend of hers who was killed and she uh, vowed to avenge his death. So uh, female shooters and gangs are super rare. However, the significance of this story is that uh, girls are becoming more and more involved in gangs and in violence, but it's usually with their hands and feet uh, and not, not with firearms. So uh, she, was kind of, she was very unusual in that that way. The estimates of how much damage she did varied depending on who you talk to. A high-level source I talked to said that a girl matching her description was a suspect in three to five shootings. One of those was a murder. I talked to other sources who are closer to the streets and those people say that she was thought to have committed at least 15 shootings. Either way you cut it, uh, it, it was not a one-time thing with her according to these sources. The police the last time they had contact with her and they saw Jakaira in an alley uh, near 63rd and, and King Drive, which is kind of the, uh, the borderline between her gang and another rival gang. And they thought that uh, it was really unusual for her to be there. She was really putting herself at risk. She could have gotten shot there. And so uh, one of the officials got out of the car and talked to her and you know, offered her help and she uh, politely refused and she walked away. <laughs> Two months later, she was dead. Huh? Flyboy game. Cloud boys.